Mr. Beast har lagt ut en del videoer som jeg ikke har sett. For eksempel de her, hvis dere vil se de. Gi den videoen her 200 likes, så kan dere se en av de. Ok, så nå skal vi se den nye, Seven Days Running on an Island. Og ja, som jeg sa, jeg er forbannet trøtt, så jeg kommer ikke til å gi noen gode reaksjoner. Jeg kommer sikkert til å være forbannet og sjalu. Kanskje jeg bare ser uten å si noe. Vi er nå stranded på denne deserted island i midten av den øya. Satan han der må være hes ofte. Han skriker. Ok, jeg har en challenge for Mr. Beast. Ikke skrik. Vi er nå stranded på denne deserted island i midten av den øya. And we're gonna be stranded here for the next seven days. And that boat that just left was our only way out of here. Why do we keep doing this? I thought it'd be fun. Despite its beauty, civilization has not. Did I even film a Jurassic Park? Not been able to survive on this island for over 250 years. But they have kept them sharp and done both. And we only have around four hours until it gets dark. It's hot out here. We need to build a shelter immediately. I mean, why don't we just camp here? This spot looks pretty good. So. I say we kick things off by us going and looking for wood, and you- Han ser ut som en person som er dritgod i survival-greier. To... We'll prep camp. Yes! Have fun with that. Come on, Sean. Come on, Chandler. How do we prep camp? You know, I don't know. And so we immediately got to work, but we had to be careful. Because above you is the most dangerous tree on Earth. It contains poisonous tree sap that could literally kill you. Det tror jeg ingenting på. Why are we still standing here? And meanwhile, Nolan and Mac were making a fire pit. I'd say it's a pretty good fire, would you say? Well, it's not a fire yet. Well, I'd say it's a pretty good fireplace. And Sean started constructing the frame for our shelter. Are you sure that's not gonna fall on us? Yep. I feel like Sean's like our survival dad. It's been called worse. And while gathering some more materials, we came across some wildlife on the island. Oh, look at these chickens over here. Hey, wait, stop running away. And it was a long... Og for det kun tekster på indisk. Long until I found out why the chickens were afraid of us. Hey, what are we doing over here? Ah. Uh, Wait, what is that? Uh, oh, it's a knife. Were yeah. you gonna try to kill one of those chickens? Please let me eat a chicken. We don't kill chickens. Jimmy, what did you? Det, Mister, det er ikke Minecraft du spiller her. Du kan ikke bare drepe en kille. Dinner before you got here. Don't ask. <laughs> we spent the rest of day one preparing our camp, which was pretty simple. I'm gonna show you guys around the camp. This is the fire, and where we're gonna make food. Come over here. And this is where we sleep. That concludes the tour. We pulled over our survival crate, which contains... Skal dere drite på hverandre? ...it's food, water, and most importantly, a flare in case someone gets hurt. And by the time the sun went down, we had everything figured out. Except one thing. Wait, hold up. Isn't sunscreen flammable? It's the end of... Er solkrem brannfarlig? Hvilken verden er det jeg lever i? Day one, and I'm already starting to get a little sunburn. I'm hoping to get some good sleep tonight. And I hope it doesn't rain. Tomorrow, we need to build a bigger shelter. And by we, I mean dad over there is going to build a bigger shelter. I got I you. Got... Oh. 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 Jimmy, you're like mom. Sean's dad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to go to bed. I'll see you on day two. During the first night of sleep, we tossed and turned a lot. Hvorfor sover de? Jeg ville jo klatre i trære. Som de tydeligvis her er giftige og kan drepe. And by we, I mean me. Ok, her var det en som turbo-runka. Se på det her. Satan, han runker så hardt at han vrir seg fra side til side. Jeg har aldri sett noe runke så hardt før. Det objektivet for dag 2 er simpelt. Vi må bygge en større og regnproof shelter. Vi må ha mer komfortable seats, fordi min butt hørte. Og vi må ha en bedre firepit. Min butt hørte også. We're looking for very long, sturdy sticks we can put across the top of our shelter. That way when it rains, instead of it drooping in the leaves and tarp... Fan, det her er jo Sims. We were busy gathering resources for our new shelter. Mac and Nolan were busy looking for new seats. Do you see that? Yeah. What's that orange thing? I mean, you can use it as like a bouncy seat. Dude, it's a buoy. Oh, dude. Bruh. Dude, there's a net. We can use the net to catch chickens. No! Oh, a lot of bugs! A lot of bugs! So I'm saying I'd prefer to find a kill. Jimmy, we found an ocean buoy. It's like a bouncy seat. Did you steal this? No. Did I get blow ball to stick it? I guess that's not stealing. Oh, that is nice. Okay, I'll take it. For the rest of the day, Chandler, Sean, and I finished upgrading the shelter. Keep going, keep going. There's still sun in here, but it's because the sun's super low. 90% of the time, this will be shade now. While Mac and Nolan got coconuts. All right. Pasta, det kan være du dør av svanen som er i tre. Det er til kvarene. Be careful, it's a big knife. Coconut! Coconut! 
kokosnöt. Jag trodde kokosnöt var kun fake. And of course, tried to catch chickens. Nej, nej. Inte fång kyllingarna då, se på dig. All right, I saved them. Day 2 is coming to an end. How would you say it was? I'm tired, but I'm doing good. Nolan? Fantastic. I think we get all Hur då tror du att sitta på trä? Det kan vara det dräpa bara. Agree, we are doing way better than we thought we would. But little did I know, later that night, things were about to get a Okej, okay, han runkar igen. Hola, worse. But for now, if you're wondering why we're in the ocean, look at Chandler. Because it's the only way for us to shower. We need our other water for Seriöst, det är på en öde ö och den enda måten där jag kan duscha på är att vara i vattnet. Fan, det tänkte jag inte på. Shit. Jag brukar så mycket tid på TikTok och sånt om dagen att jag tror att dusch finns överallt. Cooking and you know, not dying of dehydration. Do you want to know what I noticed, boys? What's that? We had 10 cartons of water and now we're down to 6. It's day 2. I know. I'm going to be the adult here. And just say, it. everyone needs to be more responsible with their water consumption. I agree. Wait, what are we agreeing to? Sean, I agreed for you. Uh, okay, perfect. Det är inte bara extra viktig när det är på sådana öjer. So dark, we need to go to bed. In case you didn't piece it together, that guy Mac is the guy that lost money in this video and this video. He's basically lost 1.5 million dollars on the channel in the last two months. What? A harsh way to introduce somebody. Even though we upgraded our shelter, the second night of sleep was worse than the first. We didn't know it, but this island was infested with bugs that ended up biting us all throughout the night. And for whatever reason, Chandler and I got the worst of it. Det är fan vad gott att se miljonär och ha det likgipt. Sleep last night. Probably the most miserable thing I've ever done. Look how many bug bites I have on just my hand alone. Det där är ju huden till en ginger på sommaren. You can probably guess what the boys were gonna do without supervision. Catch chickens. No, let's... Vad är det med du och de hönorna? Catch fish. So yesterday over by uh, that Jag drep eller fisk. Bree on the beach. Me and Nolan found a bunch of net. Today, the boys are going to help me make a chicken trap. The plan is basically to put a giant net right here, tie to a string up there, and then <laughs> catch a chicken. Let's go. Now, if I was awake to stop them, this never would happen. But given the fact that I felt like I was literally dying in this moment, the boys were officially going rogue. That is strong net. Exactly. There we go. Over the next 30 minutes or so, the boys cut the net into a perfect square. They then hoisted the rope up over the tree, tied the rope to all four <laughs> corners, and it was ready. <laughs> that works. That's pretty nice. So after a quick reset and placing some bait, it was time to catch a chicken. Nej, va, ok, hva skal dere gjøre med kyllingen? Det er veldig viktig for meg å vite. Stakkars, de hønene vil jo bare ha mat. This chicken's actually pretty chill. Yeah. This is the new Brian in honor of the bird from Raft. You know what? With how nice you've been, I'm sure once you put Brian down, it will continue to hang out with us. Put it down. Ja, for det er, jeg tror ikke Mr. Beast slakt og en uskyldig høn på en av videoen hans. Brian, no, Brian! What did you do to Brian? I thought he was our friend. Well, I did catch him with a trap, so... And by the time Brian had been caught and freed, it had gotten significantly less hot outside, which honestly gave all of us enough energy for a spontaneous adventure. See that island behind me? Hvorfor har de badebasseng her i på en tropisk øy? For a spontaneous adventure. See that island behind me? We're about to go do it, Mac. Let's do it. Now I know what you're thinking. Why swim away from a perfectly good island to a rock in the middle of the ocean? And honestly, I don't have a good answer for you. This feels really counterintuitive. I think this is a testament to just how bored we are. Feels like we're wasting a lot of water. Hvem er det som er i creative mode og filmer det her? Energy. Mac, what are you doing? There are so many fish down there. Really? Yeah. There's a stingray. Look at all those fish. Those waves look really big over there. And they're coming right at us. Det er, de spiller jo Minecraft i real life. Jeg tror ikke de vet at det finnes haier her. Det tar rik, ja. 
De filmer med droner och skriver att de svarta demoner i chatten här. Ja, det är er inte säkert att ironi och humor finns där du är er fra. Men när jag säger vem är er det som är er i creative mode och filmer så menar jag inte bokstavligt talat att jag tror att ett menneske i verklig världen är er i creative mode och filmer. Jag skönnar att det är er en drone. Vet du vad? Jo, jag tror det är er någon med creative mode. Och för folk, det är den öja där. Oh my, stormar på tropiska öar, mycket värre än stormar på utropiska öar. Cobblestone, wood, glass. Det har allt det tränger. Det är wood, det är cobblestone och sand och dirt. The worst part about this is the unknown. It's so dark. You can't even see how close the rain is anymore. Holy Dude, fuck, I'm a monster. Extremely lucky. The storm ended up just missing us by a hair. But what I can say is later in this video, we won't be so lucky. Okay, so lap of I hope to do a zombie. So let me try that again. Good morning, everybody. You guys got a case of the Mondays? After four days on the island, our morning routine consists of... Vilken biome är det här? Är det här hade kun i too many biomes eller more biomes modden. Det har inte det här i vanlig Minecraft. Det har inte palmer där. First we'd wake up and complain about how bad we slept. Sleeping last night was rough. And then we'd use the bathroom sometimes together. I'm nervous pain at the same time as you guys. Ja, det är mods jag man pissar i vanlig Minecraft. We're a little tired of our bag meals. So let's just say we've got a solution. Oh, the Amagan boat. Oh god. All this for some fish? You have to go very, very far out to actually find fish. The fish aren't going to be in this light blue water. They're going to be in the dark blue water out there. Could they? So they go out to dödn for att fiske. The plan was a little dangerous, but they were torches, so they can come a creeper up. Ah, but they can hide out there. They stick it around instead of mods. He's going to catch those fish and bring them back to shore for us to eat. You guys got the rope? I also brought around 500 feet of rope. Catch a fish. Okay, so the best that they could do is to craft a bait. Actually, swim to buy fish out of the bait. So if at any point they need help, we'll just yank them in, right, Chandler? Yeah. Is the rope still good? Yeah, you have plenty of rope. Pass the new yavli for trident. Trust me. We should just untie the rope back. But that's some dead weight. Hope you don't regret it. Now we have no rope and we're so far away from the beach. There's Oi. No way they're not getting seasick out there. Oh, look at that storm. Is that a storm? Oh, yeah, they come out to be dragged out and raped. They dör nu. Snap somewhere. <laughs> well, you know what we can do? We can start fishing. Och sen kommer det sig in. Any fish down there? I don't see anything. Not yet. We have the rope. Hey! Hey! We got a fish. Hold on, hold on. Yeah! Oh! 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 Oh!
Just woke up, I have no idea what day it is. Stay up. Five. I was about to say that. <laughs> One of the reasons why we picked this island is there's very old houses or ruins, whatever Oi. you want to call it, on this island. And even though they're located the on the jungle top, ruins, there can be found no skatter. The mountain. I say today's the day we explore them. I agree, disagree. Now that we had all agreed to go to the ruins, we wanted to make sure we didn't start this expedition on an empty stomach. And just as we were eating our bag breakfast, Nolan noticed something more appetizing down the beach. Which shader said it they use actually? Er Lincoln her? Nei. Oh, no way, bro. There's a goat! Mac, you cannot eat that. You can't stop me. No. Uh-oh. Run away, goat! Jimmy, run away! Go! Ultra hard 4K shaders. Yes! Why did you do that? He's our friend. No, he's not. He's food. Oh, uh, once again, Jimmy has scared away my food. And after sparing another animal from Mac, it was time to adventure to the ruins. All right. Let's do it. We're almost out of water, guys. I need some for the adventure. I'm gonna try to fill these up with coconut water while you're gone. Let's go. Let's do it. <laughs> yeah, keep going. I'll be there in one second. And what they don't know is I actually have a surprise waiting for us at the top of the ruins. It'll make sense in a little bit. That was kind of weird. I just stayed back and talked to the camera. Yeah, it's kind of like how you lost 1.5 million dollars. Oh, yeah. Follow me, gang. I think they have... I thought this was the mountain. Oh, they're fine. Reached the base of the mountain yet. And while we climb this mountain, I'm gonna tell the boys about Western Union. Wherever you are, Western Union makes it easy to see. Leaves can't even see no reclame. Oh, they have three. Double. I'm not gonna be like a Debbie Downer. Double rainbow. Right there. If they have fine or cherry blossom for me, oh, fi fan, I'm coming to look like that. He's building the shelter. Sean's making us dinner. Sean! I can see you. He's waving. Is it gonna be dark when we go back on this? Oh shit, that boy on that is skummel. That's gonna be unfortunate. The hair is even some Norske skoog. Are you good? Good. I'm alive. See that right over there, boys. Come on, come over here. Welcome to the room. How do you loot to drop? Why is there just a yellow box? Yeah, what is this? The loot drop. Där är det enten mythic. Jeg tror faktisk at inni der, så er det de der greiene til Ninja Turtles, da. Vi har guys with Western Union, $10,000 to move this box up here. Really? Nolan, there's a crowbar in your backpack. <laughs> what do you think's in here? Pizza? You knew that we were gonna run out of water, so you put extra water in this box. And while we're opening this, there's never been a better time to download or sign up for Western Union. Your first transaction is free. Just go to westernunion.com slash mystery. I like a dollar transaction is free. And food, but instead, I brought something even better. Matt, does this moment remind you of something? <laughs> oh, this picture of you losing 800 grand? Now, here's a picture of you losing 700 grand. Bro, why? Why go You'll see it one second, don't worry. Now, I didn't do this to make fun of Mac for losing 1.5 million dollars. Really? Because that's exactly what it feels like you're doing. I did this to say, and we're gonna give you another chance in one final video. No shot. But this is your final shot. You're gonna give me a third shot? Your final shot. I got another shot! If you look at the last video we did, every single comment was bring back Mac, bring back Mac. I hope you win. That's another shot. More important than your shot. <laughs> There's some ruins over here. Let's go look at them. Third shot, baby. I'm not gonna let you guys down again. This building is almost the same. That's my game, dude. Right? Imagine building this 100 years ago just for a bunch of youtubers to explore it <laughs> whoa this is wicked why is there a cactus det där är inte ruin och det där är vanlig nabolag i Arndal. Det är det där. Does the cactus just crawl up there or does someone put the cactus up there? The cactus does not crawl up there Jimmy. Cactus? Det är bra. It doesn't have legs. Oh my god. Let's check out on the other side of the crate. There's some more ruins over there. Det här är peaceful mode. Look how the trees like wrap around. De spelar Minecraft på peaceful mode. De är bara där för adventure. Inte nå survival. Would the gang say this was worth the effort? Because I got a third chance, yes I would. All right, well, he's biased. Would you two say it was worth it? No. There was no pizza in the box, so no. <laughs> By this time, day five sun... I think Chandler always works very well. ...was setting on the island. And on our way back to camp, we stopped at the peak of the mountain to take it all in. There's no one I'd rather scale the... I love that they had not cleared one day in ultra hardcore. ...and the mountain with than you guys. Thank Aww. you. Maybe Dwayne The Rock Johnson. That's fair. But outside of that, nobody. Boys, I'm gonna be honest, probably gonna remember this forever. Me too. I think this view made the journey worth it. Camp's cleaned up. It's been reinforced from the rain. Coconut water. Meals ready to go. Got a lot more water. It's getting really dark. I mean, you can't even see into the woods right now. I don't know how they're gonna make it back from the Creepers. top of the mountain to all the Hello, Enderman, if you've heard your contact. This is way sketchier at night. Ow. 
Cactus. Ow! You good? Just a thorn on my side. But little did we know, running into a cactus in the middle of the night was actually the least of our worries. We ended up hitting a dead end, which is a little intimidating in the middle of a forest. Now, which direction is it? Is it this way or that way? Wait, I can see three different things, dude. There's this right here, and then there's this one right here. This is a path, too. Like, are you I sure, bro? Just... Where's that at? It's definitely not to the Follow me. Guys, I will pick a random direction. Follow Wait, no, no, I, I think it is to the left. Oh, it is? No, it's right, right over here. Ah, oh, it's raining! And we must have been extra lucky that night, because on top of being lost, it started raining. Are you sure this is the right one? Jamie, it's this way. Which way are we going? I going told you we should plow! Wait, like Chandler! Follow me! Chandler, how sure are you? I'm this could have absolutely set my torches for a fine way into back here. Can we choose? It's pouring on the side of a mountain. Go! It's raining! Okay, okay, we're why don't we way. choose and then unchoose? I don't care. Oh, boys, this is bad. It is getting slick! I really don't think we came up something this steep. <laughs> oh, I almost face planted. And if we couldn't be any more unlucky, on top of it raining while we're lost, we've even got a third thing to worry about. Above you is the most dangerous tree on earth. If it rains, it will seep poison that will burn your skin. Watch out for the death apple sap because it just rained. What are we supposed to do? Not let the poison drip on you. Oh, oh that is 10,000% a death apple tree, boys. That means we're close. And regardless of if we took the right path or not, we could tell we were getting close to camp. That's sand. That's the oh. sand! Thank God. We made it. Oh, they found some meat biome. Are we going to take advantage of that? Yes, of course. Okay. Oh, God! Oh, my God, you scared me. We made it! Yeah, we're back. I made you guys dinner in coconut water. Oh, I appreciate it. Wow. <laughs> Cheers, boys. Wow, it tastes like a coconut. <laughs> After the hike, we ate. Veldig bra. Hvorfor tør dere det her? Dere spiller jo peacefult. Er det en tiger? I just don't know if that's going to be safe for us to be under it. Despite our efforts from earlier to make the shelter better, water was beginning to pull up on our roof from the storm. All this water on top of us. Is there a world that could bring our structure down? And even though all we wanted at this point was a night of sleep, we had to get up and deal with it. Uh, oh my god. Yep, and drowned or the other. I'm just getting destroyed and pummeled by rain all night. And after two hours of rain, a damaged shelter and soaking wet beds. There was no chance any of us were going to sleep that night. It raining on you at night. The worst experience you can have on these jumps. I'm so tired. Hopefully it just passed. Slash weather clear. Not a first spill of puppies. <laughs> this is over. <laughs> and over. This was an all-time low. The only option was to wait this thing out. I'm not gonna lie, the rain last night was pretty brutal. I don't know if I've ever been that cold, uh, ever. What do you want to do today? Talk to you, know, I don't know. Absolutely nothing. I just can't wait to get out of here. This place sucks a lot. I'm not gonna lie. I'm sick and I'm I'm tired. There are seven days. På to døgn kan jeg lage et sykt bygg. At this point, the island was making us miserable. This is quickly turning into. A little bit of a nightmare. And after six days of physical struggle, our mental health was beginning to suffer as well. Stockers, Mr. Beast, they're the video. Before you start to just feel terrible. But how did you use rope and sticks to make a shelter? I had a headache from the rain. Which mod is that? It was clear that we were going to have to take drastic measures to make the shelter safe. I have a headache. I am very tired. Which mod is that? It was clear that we were going to have to take drastic measures if we were going to complete this challenge. Looking for a peach cobbler. Want to look for a peach cobbler? Oh, I found one. So, in an effort to turn things around, we treated ourselves to canned cobbler for breakfast. Pretty good. Well, there. Yeah. For a can. And with the help of this unorthodox breakfast, can they have it? we were beginning to return back to normal. Get Fortnite song in. Oh, yeah. Did you get straight to the tree? <laughs> and it became clear how exactly we were going to survive day six. Yeah. By having fun with each other. <laughs> hey! And I began to realize... <laughs> Even though we've all done a lot of suffering, why'd we pick the heaviest seat in existence? This whole trip has been filled with a lot of fun. <laughs> These spiller creative mode also spawn in thing. Cheers, boys. And adventure. We did it! <laughs> Moments like these are hard to find. And when I look back on this challenge, we probably won't remember the bad times as much as we will the good. It's kind of cool. 
Faen, og kos jeg vil overleve. Men det har jeg sagt på kanalen min nå, til sommeren en gang, så skal jeg lage en survival-video. Og med dag 6 av vår challenge, finnelig kommer til en ende, vi celebrerer vår final natt med en massiv fyr. Men det er litt brønning oss alle. Ja, jeg er blitt nærmere. Det er litt for stort. Når vi vekker opp i morgen, challengen vil bli over! Og når solen rådde på dag 7, vi brøkte ned kamp og klinet opp med en ting i mind. Løvde denne plassen og ikke kommer tilbake. Og før vi løver, vil jeg bare ta tid til å si takk til alle for å se. All of you are the only reason videos like this exist, and I really hope you all enjoyed it. 89 million gånger har den videon blivit sett. Lik om du vill ha mer. Hihihi. <laughs>